गुरुदेव प्रणाम प्रणाम गुरुदेव स्कॉलर्स इन इंडिया एज वेल एज अ ब्रॉड हु आर ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन एंड डू नॉट व्यू द भारतीय कल्चर थ्रू एनी कलर्ड लेंस completely refute the aryan invasion theory taking a scientific approach in their decades long research amalgamating astronomy geology archaeology oceanography pottermology anthropology astrology even genetics and quantum mechanics and philosophy which provide the much needed multidisciplinary evidence augmented by in-depth analysis and interpretation of our ancient vedic scriptures they have been successful in mapping the very ancient roots of sanatan hindu dharma chronicling it to nearly 20000 plus years for which objectively tested evidence has been established and further research is under way to go even beyond This is an endeavor to put to rest the faulty inferences of several dogmas of Sanatan Hindu dharma which people know of today and which plague its followers who are largely blind towards its risk rock solid foundation its eternality and the vastness of its spiritual thoughts and realizations which emanate from the deep study and sadhana of our ancient rishis over thousands and thousands of years gurudev today most people do not even know the meaning of their own names which are so unique so in this background could you kindly throw light on the genesis of sanatan hindu dharma discussing its present status and thereafter express your views on its future first of all i wish to explain a little bit its name why it is sanatan hindu religion actually uh sanatan is eternal hindu religion is a vedic religion what is vedic religion that is hindu religion the religion founded on veda i mean vedas uh is called hindu religion same sanatan means eternal which has no beginning nobody knows his beginning you you resumption 20000 years or uh, or more is also very little in comparison to the sanatan sanatan is so vast when we i think uh, uh, as the emergence of human existence this religion has come the scripture you know the scriptures are later on the script is also uh, later on designed the book veda is not books is not just books four books riksham jyotishya but not four books veda is uh, is is wisdom the knowledge this knowledge has been coming through uh, uh students and, and and guru guru and disciple guru and disciple for how many years for for eons you know at, uh, it has been existing and uh it's called shruti shruti yes that means listening mm. you know no no scripture no reading things mm. listening listening from guru every day and got by heart and then that that student become guru and it goes on goes on goes on later on there was a scripture before the vedic scripture was different but later on devanagari has come in existence now devanagari so vedas the written books uh, only a kind of map it's only a kind of map a design for the eternity so eternal knowledge is veda Veda means eternal knowledge. Veda means to know. The word Veda means to know. Eternal knowledge. So that way, uh, the religious culture, much designed later on, 
then later on but it was there and now we take as proof that Vedas is a Rig Veda. Rig Veda is the proof of Hindu religion because Rig Vedas are many Upanishads also and they are and Rig Veda almost in human civilization as many branches are there they all are found in Rig Veda so the Veda is the beginning of human civilization even world civilization even world civilization because it has uh, astrology it has astronomy and uh, uh, physics a lot of physics a lot of knowledge of physics like basic knowledge of physics every action has a reaction and so and so forth you know every every physical physics theory of physics will be found in Rig Veda so uh, about the origin of Hindu religion nobody could uh, confidently uh, assert anything so far so it is timeless it is actually timeless and then through Rig Veda then we can see the how uh, is this childish um, Aryan invasion theory designed by Max Muller Max Muller designed it actually and later on in l l later life of his you know, when he is going to depart he said nobody knows 5,000 or 15,000 but it is most ancient uh, that is for sure he himself denied that this 15,000 1500 years old uh, Aryan, uh, Aryan invasion uh, theory is of no use it's a childish assumption childish inference but reality is different Krishna himself is 5000 years old the Dharaka and now the uh, excavation of Dharaka that shows that it's 5000 years old because the carbon dating it says 5,000, about 5,400, uh, 4,500 something. So, that way, uh, Hindu religion has been coming down from the ancient time and it is Sanatan. Since it is Sanatan, proclaimed by the Rishis, in the present time, it is very greatly uh, assailed by many, many uh, foreigners, foreign, foreign invasion, mm. foreign invasion. It is obstructed, very greatly uh, impressed by the European culture, Western culture, and that is because of the political reason. Mm. Hindus were very good in philosophy, mm. in yoga, mm. in meditation. It has six philosophies: Kapil, Shankar philosophy, uh, Patanjali yoga philosophy. Then Gautam Rishi Gautam is is uh, Nay philosophy uh, and Konad on Vaishishik philosophy, you know. So Shankar philosophy is also there. So there are six philosophies, and uh, Patanjali is very important nowadays, you know, because everybody wants to have yoga and get rid of suffering. The suffering get rid getting rid of suffering. Is, is not, cannot be done by the modern material education. Mm. So this education has created a lot of uh, uh, interruption, you know, a lot of interruptions they call the system of education, mm. because education is a very important thing and essential thing. Mm. And this education is not complete without the knowledge of Veda. Mm. So Veda, Vedic knowledge is very greatly ignored that is why the culture is disturbed. The Gurukul system is completely yeah. annihilated. Annihilated. Mm. The Gurukul system is not just, as we imagine, a small guru and, and its disciples. No, it is a vast thing mm. taken care of by the kings. A land, maybe few acres of land. Mm. And then the guru will be there and 30,000, 50,000, 40,000, 60,000 students would be living with him and the teachers would be uh, maybe hundreds of teachers, you know. Uh, different subjects would be taught. Solo Kala Chosutti Vidya. 64 science 
and and uh, 16 art Th that would be taught at the time uh, 25 years in the uh, ashram in the gurukul so gurukul was a very great large system at the time and that education would create uh, citizens population population would be grown through that and naturally spirituality was very important at the time Spiritual is the foremost important. It is the plant. Ah, yes, mm. foremost important. Mm. But that spirituality is uh, purposely designed, operated out. Mm -hmm. Mm. Purposely. Mm. Because that is dominating the world for long, you know. Mm. Spirituality. Mm. Bharat. Mm. Bharat. Bhar means to feed. Mm. Bharat means, Tha means country. So the country which is feeding the world in different ways, mm. including uh, economy, mm. even because gold, pearls, so many things have been taken from the cartload, you know, um, cartload of pearls. The riches have been looted. Looted. Mm. Very greatly looted and taken to, uh, taken by sheep. Mm. So in the ships they were taken, uh, the raw materials were taken mm. and then ready materials were sold here. So that way, uh, education was made by the Britishers, uh, particularly Britishers, you know, the clerks. Mm. The local citizens would be the clerks of the education. So the economic system, mm. the recurring economic system is broken mm. and culture is also interrupted, mm. religion is interrupted. Mm. Now, surviving with great struggle, it is surviving, mm. it's not lost yet. Mm. But with great struggle, yes. not systematically, mm. is with great struggle because unless and until the government mm. becomes responsible mm. and helps, mm. Mm. even great religious philosophy and others cannot rise. Mm. Mm. Very difficult. Mm. You understand my point? Yes. So that way, this religion has been rolling down from the ancient time, remote ancient time, mm. and how old it is, nobody can say, mm. but we can see that 2,500 years ago, Buddha was there. Yes. 2,600 years ago, mm. Buddha was there. Mm. And Buddha's philosophy is very much founded on Shankar philosophy, mm. Kapil Shankar philosophy, mm. one of the most ancient philosophy of the world, mm. Kapil Shankar philosophy, very much. Eight, eightfold sadhana, mm. Buddha also talks of eightfold spiritual practice, mm. you know. Yeah, Samadhi. So that way, uh, Buddha is as uh, Krishna is five thousand years old. The Krishna calendar. Krishna calendar. Mm. Ah. Mm. Krishna calendar says five thousand years old, mm. and that is now scientifically proved. Mm. So it is not mythology; it is undated history. Undated history. Mm. It is the history, history, history of the world. Yeah. Mm. It is the history of the world, mm. because in the whole world. There is not, not any branch that is not found in the Vedic culture. That means it is many times it must have been matured, downfall and rise again, downfall and rise again. Now there is a downfall. I, I, I mean, I don't particularly mean uh, bad, but it is a very great downfall now. But unless unless we go into our scriptures, we ah. will never get to understand what reality right. lies in there. Because if you see mathematics, hmm. it is from Hindu religion, Vedic religion. Got it. Got it. Hmm. And Hindu, name Hindu, hmm. is not from Sindhu river. Hmm. Name Hindu is an old religion. Shakpuni says, hmm. has a very good verse hmm. in which he says that those who keep the evils hmm. far, hmm. durati, dunati, hmm. and adapt the science of religion, hmm. They are Hindu. Okay. And Hinam Dushanti Tati Hindu, Meru Tantra, she was says to Parvati, that Hinam Dushanti, the bad things, the those who uh, discard mm. evil mm. and adapt uh, uh, right mm. and knowledge, mm. they are Hindu. Uh. You know. Hinam mm. Dushanti yeah. Tati Hindu. Mm. Evil evil is taken off. Mm. So that way Many scriptures talk of Hindu religion, mm. Mm. ancient scriptures. Understood. Yeah. That is why the Hindu name came, mm. and it has a meaning. Mm. Hind means to walk, 
in Sanskrit. Okay. Okay. Hind means to walk. Okay. Hindu means mm. rightly, scientifically walking. Okay. You're taking steps. Mm. Chare beti, chare beti. Mm. Keep going, keep going, keep moving. Mm. So Hindu means to move. Mm. Hindu, mm. move. Right. Gurudev, what about River Saraswati? There are several references which are there in our scriptures to Saraswati River. Actually, the Saraswati River is within you. Like Tribeni is within you. Mm. Ida Pingala, Ida Pingala and uh, Sushuma. Mm. Sushuma. Mm. These three rivers mm. separate here mm. and join here. Okay. So crossing the chakras mm. come. Mm. And when light, Shiva's light is here, mm. Kashi, Kosh, may shine. Mm. Kashi is here. Mm. So when people uh, see the light of Shiva, mm. then they are deli delivered. Okay. They are delivered from the evil. Okay. So Saraswati is, is a, is a uh, nerve system, okay. spiritual nerve system, okay. Saraswati Nadi. Mm -hmm. So when this spiritual nerve system is open, mm. is active, mm. then knowledge comes. Knowledge flows, knowledge flows, and the joy of knowledge comes. That means uh, Sushunma. So the Sushunma Nadi mm. is called Saraswati, okay. Saraswati Nadi. But the people who cannot have this inner vision of uh, knowledge, you know, for them the outer Saraswati, the river, was once upon a time by the side of Saraswati river, people would cultivate knowledge. Okay. Rishis would meditate mm. and cultivate knowledge. Mm. So there was a river. Mm. It is still there. Its, it's bed, bedrock is still there. Mm. You know. So that way Saraswati river is mentioned many times, over hundred times mm. in Rig Veda. Okay. 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 About Saraswati river. Okay. Because like Brihad Aranya Kupanishad, mm. it is written in the jungle, so it is Aranya. Brihad Aranya, Brihad Aranya Kupanishad, the vast, a big Upanishad, mm. and that is written in the jungle. Mm. So near Saraswati River, there might have been many literatures were written, mm. many saints would be living, mm. uh, many rishis would be living, and meditating, mm. and contemplating, mm. and finding the afterlife. Mm. Hindus believe in the afterlife. Yes very thoroughly. Mm. The perception of afterlife has gone over the world mm. uh, in, a, in, a, in a fragmentary way. Okay. <laughs> Not yet very fully accepted, okay. but in a fragmentary way, okay. every religion in the world, they believed in afterlife. So these doctrines that lay hidden in our scriptures have evolved over millennia, several millennia. It is not an overnight process. Of course not, of course not. Uh, these perceptions, hmm. perception of afterlife, hmm. Hmm. perception of rebirth, hmm. perception of, of the karma, karma theory, hmm. these are very uh, powerful theories. And realizations also. Realizations. Hmm. Hmm. Realizations of the supreme hmm. Im immortality, hmm. eternity. Hmm. So the realization of eternity is the purpose hmm. of Hindu religion. Hmm. Ah. Sanatan Hindu religion mm. and it has to survive again, mm. come again, mm. stronger again mm. and slowly it will come sure in a larger way. Okay. If you ask me about the future of Hindu religion, yes. it is not just confined to, to the uh, subcontinent. Mm. It will not remain confined to the subcontinent. Mm. It is getting spreading, getting spreading, mm. automatically spreading. Mm. It is not like preaching, mm. like other religion, mm. they preach and they mm. truce mm. and they make uh, people converted mm. and number. It's not matter. It is not a matter of number. Mm. It's a quality. Yeah. The quality depends on man's morality, mm. his uh, mm. his inner sense, mm. his inner light mm. and inner joy, mm. inner happiness. Mm and the realization of immortality. You don't get converted into a Hindu, you just follow the uh, system. Follow, follow the system. You don't have to call yourself Hindu, mm. but you can follow and uh, get benefit.
थैंक यू गुरुदेव थैंक यू गुरुदेव आई हैव वन पर्टिनेंट क्वेश्चन ओके वॉट डज द वर्ड एरियन मीन एरियन मीन सिविलाइज सिविलाइज दो आर नॉट सिविलाइज द नॉन एरियन एरियन इज नॉट क्लास और अ रेस as uh, western world have taken it you know as a race but actually vedic word is aryan aryan word vedic those who would be um, perfectly educated in the vedic system they were aryans like modern time you have an education and then you become a graduate so it is a it is a designation it is a title aryan so in a family there can be one person who is aryan and other person can be non aryan who has not gone to school okay. Okay. so vedic schooling hmm. when completed hmm. then he would be called aryan okay. it was the system hmm. later on hmm. it has been used in a different way okay. in okay. germany in other places hmm. it's all different way people taken it as aryan you know but aryan is not a race it is a designation and it has existed in our subcontinent for thousands of years for thousands of years thank you very much